Thousands of people a year are breaking into entry-level IT roles without a college degree or some expensive boot camp. Yet there's millions of unfilled jobs worldwide. However, finding reliable information on how to break into IT efficiently without wasting time and money, well, that's the real challenge. And that's exactly what I'm gonna go over in this video step by step. So if you find it valuable and you wanna see more, go ahead and gently tap that like button. And let's jump into this right now. So today I'm gonna be breaking down the exact roadmap that anyone can follow to break into an entry-level IT job. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about IT support. So we're talking about taking you from absolute beginner with zero IT experience whatsoever to job ready. Now, I've been helping people break into entry-level jobs for well over five years now. I've interviewed people on this channel that have broken into IT in as little as seven, 10, or 12 days. But that was several years ago, so let's talk about the current IT support landscape. As of mid-year 2025, LinkedIn shows over 69,000 information technology jobs in the United States alone. And the demand for qualified IT support professionals, even at the entry level, continues to grow as companies increasingly rely on technology. And the best part is that IT support remains one of the most accessible entry points into the tech industry. So, so many people start off in IT and then they can go into things like cybersecurity or coding. But unlike some of those more advanced positions like software development, data science, et cetera, you can actually land an entry level help desk position with just a few months of focused learning and the right certifications. And I'm gonna walk you through step by step exactly how you can do this. So, step one I'm assuming that you have absolutely no IT experience whatsoever and you also have no IT knowledge, start with the Google IT Support Professional Certificate on Coursera. This is the absolutely best first step for any IT support beginner in 2025. And for just $49, you'll learn technical support fundamentals, computer networking, operating systems, system administration, and IT security. And what makes this certificate so valuable is that it's created by Google, which is instant resume credibility. And by the way, as a side note, this is something I always like to mention on any certificate or certification related video, only 20% of the value value of a cert is from the actual information inside of the cert itself. 80% of the value is the perception of the cert from the hiring manager or decision maker. So sometimes I get comments from people saying, oh, this cert over here, you know, is way better at preparing you for XYZ. And hey, that's great. Take those classes, take those certs. I love that. But on this channel, I usually focus on the ones that actually stand out. They have a brand name. They're the gold standard and they're recognized by the decision makers. So back to what makes this cert so valuable. Like I said, it's created by Google, this is instant resume credibility. It's comprehensive yet beginner friendly, and it's recognized by employers, including 150 plus companies in Google's hiring network that you only get access to once you get the cert. And it can be completed in one to three months studying part-time. In fact, some people have said they've completed it in less than a month. In fact, when I reviewed this cert, one person commented on the YouTube video that they completed it in a single day but they did have prior tech knowledge, while others with no background typically finish in one to two months studying part-time. So the certificate covers everything you need to know for entry-level IT support roles, and many people have landed jobs with just this certification alone. One commenter from my old video mentioned landing a job in two weeks after completing the course with no prior formal IT experience. And by the way, guys, I always appreciate your comments on the video. So if you have experience with any of these certs, or if there's some other ones that you recommend, go ahead and comment below. And by the way, if you wanna check out any of the resources, including the Google cert that I mentioned in this video, check it down in the description and the pinned comment below. All right, so like I said, some people do land it with just the cert alone, but you don't wanna rely on that. So step two is build your practical skills with hands-on projects. So while the Google cert gives you a strong foundation, employers want to see that you can apply your knowledge. So here's what you should focus on next. Set up a home lab environment. Install and configure different operating systems like Windows and Linux. Practice networking concepts with virtual machines. Document everything you do as if you were in a real work environment and work on real troubleshooting scenarios. And then you want to volunteer to help your friends and family with tech issues, join forums such as Reddit's r slash tech support and help solve problems, and document your solutions as case studies for your portfolio. Then learn some basic scripting and automation. Example would be PowerShell for Windows environments, Bash for Linux environments, and simple Python scripts for automation tasks. And a user commented on my video that showing they could troubleshoot real problems during interviews is what ultimately landed them their first help desk job, even with minimal formal training. So basically guys, build your portfolio. And in some cases, you're gonna be working for free, helping out local businesses, or helping people with IT problems that they have on forums. But this is a phenomenal way for you to build up your portfolio and show people that you actually know the skills that you say you know. Additionally, for some roles, hosting your portfolio on Notion might look really good as well. And by the way, I like hosting portfolios on Notion. Many people who look at tech companies are familiar with Notion, and it's a really cool place to host your portfolio. Quick break, this video is sponsored by me. 
Most of you don't know that I actually have my own coaching program on personal branding and then growing and making money on YouTube. And this is good for complete beginners, maybe even people who just wanna get a job by growing their personal brand, all the way up to people who are very advanced on YouTube. And they get to work directly with myself and my team to help them reach their goals. Now, we are opening up three to five spots, and this is pretty rare. We usually don't have these open. We usually only limit them to select people, but we're opening up three to five spots, and you can check those out down in the description and the pinned comment below. And in this program, you'll get to work directly with myself and other people who are highly successful on YouTube. Just as an example, Sean was able to go all the way from being stuck, not making very much money on his channel, to making over $500,000 a month. Now, that's an example of one of my more advanced students, but there's lots of examples of people who started off from scratch and they got to 5k a month, 10k a month, etc. So check that out down in the description and the pinned comment below. All right, step three is add complimentary courses, certifications, and certificates. So after completing the IT support certificate and building your portfolio to show that you actually know the skills that you say you know, consider adding on one or more of these certifications based on your interests. CompTIA A+, for instance, this is still the industry standard for hardware knowledge. CompTIA Network+, Plus for networking specialization. Microsoft 365 Fundamentals, or MS900, for corporate environments. And an absolute cheat code is the AWS Cloud Practitioner for cloud-focused roles. Many employers use these certifications as filters in their hiring process. And even if they don't, it's going to look really impressive on your resume. So the Google certificate plus one additional specialized certification is often enough to land your first role. Now, an optional add on here is if you actually want somebody to work with you, if you want more guided focus, and you also want a group of people that are all trying to get the job as well, you can consider taking course careers free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below and joining their paid programs afterwards as well. I've interviewed people on this channel that have gotten jobs in a week or even two weeks with course careers. And I believe their training's around $500, but you can start off with a payment plan that's less than that. All right, step four is going to be to bolster your portfolio. So remember that portfolio that you started off with in step two? This is where you're really going to bolster that portfolio. And chances are, even up to this point, you have enough to land a job, but you might as well keep on adding to your portfolio to make it even better. So here are some things that really help. First of all, documentation samples. Show you can write clear technical instructions. Troubleshooting case studies. Show real problems that you've solved. Home lab projects. Screenshots and explanations of your configurations. Knowledge base articles. Tutorial style content demonstrating your expertise. And by the way, a cheat code here, one of my students literally used this to get offers from fame companies, is to just start your own YouTube channel and do the tutorials on YouTube. When people see that you have a successful YouTube channel and you're demonstrating your expertise on YouTube, they're gonna be extremely impressed by that. And then another thing you can do is host your portfolio on a simple website, for instance, GitHub Pages is free, and include the link on your resume and LinkedIn profile. So yeah, definitely don't skip this step, bolster your portfolio. Step five is to optimize your job search strategy. Now that you have the skills and the credentials, here's how to actually land the job. First of all, target the right roles. We're talking help desk technician, IT support specialist, technical support representative, desktop support analyst, etc. Those are the types of roles that you want to land. Now, many of you watching this probably want to get a remote job, and that's totally fine. You can definitely get remote jobs. With that being said, if you are really serious about your career, a cheat code for getting your foot in the door and getting a job very easily is to apply for jobs that are in undesirable locations. So we're talking undesirable locations in big cities sometimes, or even small towns that nobody wants to live in. And you will be working in person. However, the cost of living is usually very low there, and it's a good way to get your foot in the door and get that initial experience. So if you're willing to do that, that can be a cheat code for landing a job even faster. Another thing you definitely want to do is leverage LinkedIn effectively. So I could make an entire video about LinkedIn because it's so powerful, but a quick one you can do is add certifications and certificates to your profile even while you're still taking them, turn on the open to work settings, and connect with IT managers and recruiters at target companies. And the next thing you want to do is prepare for common interview scenarios. For instance, technical troubleshooting shooting questions, customer service role plays, and remote support simulations if you're trying to get a remote job. Now, one key insight from multiple successful job seekers, add your Google certification to LinkedIn even before you complete it. Recruiters actively search for people with these credentials, and you'll start getting connection requests and potential opportunities. Okay, now let's talk about the realistic timeline and expectations. So, what's a realistic timeline for going from zero to employed in IT support? Because there are people that land a job in one or two weeks, but those are rare. The average person starting from complete zero 
zero, assuming that you already have a job and so you don't have a bunch of time to work on this, is likely going to take three to six months. With that being said, month one to two, you're going to be completing the Google IT support certificate and you're also just going to be practicing your skills. Month two to three, you're going to be building practical skills and create a portfolio. Month three to four, you can add a complementary certification or at least start working on one. And month four to six, active job search and interviewing. With that being said, I actually recommend that you start applying pretty much right away. And there's an off chance you might get lucky and land a role right off the bat. And if not, you're at least gonna have experience applying. Now, most people who follow this roadmap land their first role within four to six months of starting with entry-level salaries typically ranging from forty to $65,000 a year, depending on location and company size. And one thing to note is you can land a job much faster if you are willing to move to an undesirable area. So in that case, you'll likely be able to land a job within one to two months. With that being said, here are some common pitfalls to avoid. One, Analysis paralysis. Don't spend months researching which career path to take. It's quite easy to switch career paths in tech, so don't get stuck on that, right? If you end up in a job that you don't like, get some experience and then you can apply for higher paying or different skill set jobs down the line. Two, certification collecting. More isn't always better. Focus on skills, not paper. Three, applying to only posted jobs. 70% of IT roles are filled through networking. So make sure you are networking with IT managers and decision makers. And four is neglecting soft skills. Customer service abilities are critical in IT support, so don't ignore them. So this is the abbreviated basic breakdown of how to land a job. If you want me to make a much longer, more comprehensive video, it would likely take over an hour to make, but I will do that if I get a bunch of comments about it. But one final note is IT support is just the beginning. From here, you can specialize in network administration, system admin, cloud support, cybersecurity, DevOps, IT project management, and many people end up going into coding as well. And many roles in these fields pay $100,000 plus dollars annually, and most don't require degrees, just experience or the right certifications. So an IT support career path remains one of the most accessible routes into the tech industry in 2025. And with focused efforts using this roadmap, you can go from complete beginner to employed in four to six months without a college degree. And remember, consistency beats intensity. It's better to study one hour every day than 10 hours once a week. So check out the resources that I put down in the description and the pinned comment below. And if you want to explore more certification options beyond IT support, check out my video, five basic online certifications, but they're better than most degrees by clicking right here.